this Sunday, there's the Pride Party, the Pride Parade going through the central parts of the city. It's time to make another dream come true. I always wanted to visit Costa Rica, and now it's finally happening. My name is Patrick, and I'm from Sweden. For nearly 10 years I've been traveling the world full-time, working with my business online and also as a scuba diver. I've been saying yes to most things and had so many amazing experiences, made many new friends and had so much fun. Before we dive into the full beauty of the country that is Costa Rica, let me quickly show you my life on the island Curaçao in South Caribbean. I lived here for about 10 months working as an underwater photographer before traveling to Costa Rica. Welcome to Curaçao. This island has been my home for the past six months and now I'm going to show you all my favorite spots both above and underwater. Finally, I'm at the beach. Today my job is to go on this bus all the way out west here in Curaçao to take photos of the people in the and snorkeling. This is one of the most fun trips I do when I'm working because we're away for the whole day and on the way back we're playing lots of music and people are having drinks and they're watching my photos and we're all having a great time. Whoa! This is fun. There it is guys. The highest mountain in Curaçao, Christoffel Mountain. Today we're diving at a beautiful beach called Casabao. That's it, my last day on Curaçao. I'm going to Costa Rica for a full adventure. I'm in Costa Rica, just got out of the airport and uh, hundreds of thousands of taxi drivers what it feels like trying to get me to get in a taxi but I want to travel the real way so I'm going to the bus station it should be over here, I'm not sure I asked someone to point in this direction so I'm just going there uh, the company is apparently called Tuasa Bus or something like this and uh, yeah, we'll see it was raining a minute ago, I hope I don't get soaked Let's see how this goes Say Costa Rica yesterday. Little did I know that this Sunday there's the Pride Party, the Pride Parade going through the central parts of the city. They're just closing off the main traffic road for the whole central parts, and the parade is getting ready right here. There's people selling rainbow flags and rainbow hats and everything everywhere, and there's so many people, and it's such a party vibe, and I absolutely love it. I mean. Celebrating how love will win over everything. It's absolutely beautiful. And look at this vibe in San Jose today. I absolutely love it that I'm here for this event. How random, but how, how fun.
It's morning on my third day in San Jose, Costa Rica and today I'm taking the bus to this town called La Fortuna. It's like a bit north up in the jungle and the mountains I think. I haven't really done my research that thorough but I think that's where kind of we're going. And uh, I'm right now at the bus terminal uh, taking the public bus. It's only gonna cost like um, 800 uh, colon and uh, that's about it's less than two dollars it's uh, really really cheap and right now I'm at this little sandwich shop grabbing uh, some uh, sandwich to have on the road this uh, lady in here is preparing it for me right now well there's the first for everything I've been traveling all over Southeast Asia there's been all these different systems you get small stickers on your chest you get like little wristbands you get like actual paper tickets here in Costa Rica when you go on the bus <laughs> playing card so I got the Queen of Diamonds, I don't know what that <laughs> means. Well, hopefully I got a seat on this bus. Uh, there's a few people that uh, walked ahead with online tickets that I was told that I couldn't buy. So here I am with my Queen of Diamonds, hoping for the best. Literally, as the bus rolled into La Fortuna, the rain started to pour and down. It is rainy season in Costa Rica, so this is what you're gonna live with. All right, let's see how bad it is. I think we're on the ceiling for the bags. Oh, yeah, look at this. All righty. Luckily enough, I know my hostel is literally just around the corner up here, so that's good. Normally, I would travel a lot lighter, but I've been living on an island in the Caribbean for like nine months. So I have lots of stuff plus my dive gear. Not the, the best way to need to move from a bus station to a hostel backpacking. So here I am dragging my shit around in the rain. Oh, I, might, I can't even hold my bag from the ground. It's like dragging there. But I think that's it. We're here. It's my hostel. Luckily enough, very short walk. Hola. Hola amigo, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Pura vida. Pura vida. How can I help you, sir? Check in. Check in. It's eight o'clock in the morning. It's time to explore this beautiful little volcano with this company jungle tours just met our guide hans we're going on this bus now hey good morning hans how are you great man great great, great. you're getting famous on youtube now Cheers, <laughs> good morning everybody good morning, everybody. <laughs> there's a place that it's possible to swim there are two places one of them is a natural pool the other one is a shallow river so if you feel like swimming i recommend you to try them both just remember that the water is going to be refreshing, it's not supposed to be warm. Alright, I got to La Fortuna yesterday and had no idea what to do here, but there's a waterfall and I booked the tour. I did not know what I got myself into. Uh, we're going down all these stairs. Uh, I realize this waterfall is super, super touristy. They build like a whole thing with like restaurants, the stairs and steps and like showers and dressing rooms and like entrance fees. And it's like a whole thing surrounding this waterfall. I'm like thinking, how much can you squeeze out of one waterfall? Like, it's just a waterfall. Uh, I would love a waterfall in the nature where you hike yourself and there's like not many people there. That's the coolest thing, but here, they made a whole thing out of it and uh, well it's going with it it's still a fun uh, meeting other people on this trip even though it's a tourist place waterfalls are always impressive of course so uh we're getting there now let's check it out it's up here you can hear it very loud apparently there's like a two tons of pressure every second coming down here with all this water here it is the La Fortuna waterfall. Check it out. Pretty impressive, right? Here we go. Yeah. You don't like it? Go, man. <laughs> <laughs> 
Finally, on the slopes of the volcano, on the hunt for spotting uh, sloths, the two toed, the three toed, I don't know how many toes they have, but I want to see one, that's for sure. And now we're in the proper, proper like rainforest kind of thing, looking for lots of different animals as well. We just saw a toucan over there, uh, really far up in the trees, so hopefully, we see one really close soon. Uh, this is gonna be like an hour hike to like a viewpoint. Uh, below the volcano. Let's go! This leaf, if you like crush it and like like this, it works as like you can get the liquid out and make mosquito repellent and I already started coughing smelling it. It's so strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does it smell? Can you just rub it on your legs? Yeah, you can draw it all over your body. All over my body? You, you have to go back to the bathroom. Huh? Just gonna go all over you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. The more I crush it, I guess, the better it gets. I have such a nail of candles for you. We made it to the viewpoint and the last lava flow field around the Arenal volcano. It was like 2010, the last eruption. And all these rocks I'm walking on is, yeah, lava that's petrified, I guess. And here's the volcano. And we're lucky to have a clear view of it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. How beautiful. Pretty cool. Look at the view around. There's like a lake down there, and the whole valley. All right, we're at the natural hot springs. Hans, how hot is the water? Between 28 and 33 Celsius degrees, bro. Are you gonna go swimming? I need to watch your stuff, so... <laughs> Are you gonna swim in? Yeah! Oh. There's a different liquid inside called Contrabando, which is a... Contrabando? This is handmade. Which means uh, it's 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 illegal, you know? Contraband. <laughs> this is moonshine. This is moonshine. Moonshine. This is moonshine. Okay. So it's illegal. Moonshine. So what does it mean? Something. Wow. It means that it doesn't pay taxes, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. Yeah. Right? And it's eighty percent. No, sometimes it is forty, between forty, fifty, and sixty. <laughs> Arriba. 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 Abajo. Abajo. Al centro. Al centro. Al centro. Sí, de nuevo. Al centro. Ah, Jesus Christ. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. Ah. Nice. strong. Ah. like tequila from Costco, man. What, what, Volcanic mud mask, here we go. Push the cover my wife. Oh, that's nice. Volcanic mud mask on. Thermal hot river. It's pretty warm, actually. It's like a hot tub. What are we doing? We're going to get drunk. Is that what we're doing? Are we, we, we going to get drunk? Is this how you vlog? I feel like Pete Perry in the, in the mask. <laughs> you know that movie? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> it is strong, yeah. yeah. It's strong. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey. I'm Patrick. Hello. Vlogger extraordinaire. Vlogger. We're in we're in Costa Rica. No, Costa Rica. I'm filming them. Pura vida. Let's go. <laughs> Woo! This is going this is going in the like uh, the behind the scenes section in the end of the video. Yeah. Hey, as long as I make the video, I'm happy. Yeah, you're in the video already. Ah. We'll be all in the video. 